Welcome, friends, to another episode of Seven Days to Die modded with Darkness Falls Overhaul mod. Oh, look at that! Our, uh, our nests are all done and ready to go. That's kind of cool. I'm glad I came up here. Uh, but last episode, we went out and got a whole bunch of useful stuff. We did a trader run just to get uh, some ammo here, and we got a decent amount. Uh, I think I could check our trader here locally again, and uh, he should have some more for us. So the one thing I do have to make is uh, some gunpowder so we can make some bullets. We have some bullet casings and stuff kicking around, so we're going to be using those. Uh, so, of course, I forgot to uh, grab my fuel for this here, but I do have a bunch of stuff to put away, too. So, I'm going to get that going, uh, get my inventory organized here, and we will get everything together, because uh, we got a lot of prep here for Horde Night. Oh, hey, check this out down here. We have uh, a fellow survivor here uh, taking on a zombie dog. I wonder if that means uh, there's a wandering horde headed our way. There's a bird over there. So yeah, there's got to be an animal horde or something nearby. Imagine I picked it off from here. That would be insane. Just with my uh, iron sights. I, I, I think I could do it if I waste a ton of ammo here before horde. Oh, we got them. <laughs> nice. All right. Anyway, uh, that reminds me. Look at our little stuff over there. We got to go check our garden and our uh, trees here and uh, harvest it all. That's very important. Oh, damn it. So it looks like our garden here is still growing, but uh, possibly uh, close to uh, finish because those uh, all those plants look very, very large. But our trees are here are good to go. Uh, look at this. We got apple trees. Uh, we got banana trees. Holy crap. And our animal traps are... Oh, yes. Our animal snares are actually gone off too. Uh, we can make some... Uh, some Oh, what is it? Animal feed, yes. We can make some animal feed here and uh, reset these before we go back out. Look at that. We got raw meat and eggs. I didn't know you got eggs from these. Damn, even bones too. That's actually essential uh, for making a ton of glue here. We got to make up a whole ton of ovens pretty soon. Uh, so we make a little factory down in our factory, uh, like a little kitchen factory. I don't even know what to call it. Uh, a bakery? Maybe something like that. I don't even know. I'm just excited to actually do this here for the first time. Uh, so this should definitely help us with our um, egg problems. Okay, let's get rid of those feathers. So it's not even worth making the egg ones. Uh, the chicken coops really, when these like give you eggs and feathers and fat and bones, raw meat and leather. Unless he's changed that in a future update because I have not updated this version at all so we can uh, play right through. But yeah, I'm not entirely sure. Okay, I'm gonna go start farming all these trees here, guys. There's a lot of them. Okay, I got that all harvested. I got some animal feed on the way, but uh, we're left with 45 bananas, 25 apples, and uh, there's a ton of animal feed up here. Holy crap, is my uh, gear ever slowing me down. I almost kinda, you know what, we're, we're, we're gonna go ahead and uh, take that off, I think, for now, because uh, we don't really need it at the moment. I'll keep the poncho on. Oh, hey, look, this is my character. Um, I think I selected a random one just setting up the game because I was being impatient, but uh, yeah. Look at this, 108 animal feed. We're gonna be actually done in three seconds here. So bam, that is uh, more than enough animal feed. Uh, the nice thing now is I can actually take a look too at maybe uh, getting some animals going because we do have a couple of babies. Um, I think one's a wolf and I, I think one's a boar. I can't actually remember what they are. Uh, but all we have to do is look at this, use the right mouse button here, and then as you see, it'll take an animal feed out, and then you can't put any more in anyway if you do the, the motion. But uh, there we go. So these snares are reset. These things are actually uh, kick ass. I'm almost tempted to actually uh, make some more of these. Uh, how long would that take? They take 16 seconds each. Yeah, I'll make some more in the future here. I think we definitely have enough to uh, keep us going for now. And I'll have to uh, come and check on my garden soon as well. But yeah, there we go. Okay, let's get my butt home and uh, we'll start getting some stuff sorted there because I got to get some ammo on the way here as soon as possible. We should have a decent chunk here in our uh, chemistry station up there. There we go, 419. That's not a huge amount, but that definitely should be uh, enough to get us going here. So let's take some of these out. Holy crap. Uh, we got lots of those, and we're going to need ourselves uh, some bullet tips here. Uh, you know what? I may wear my helmet just to have the flashlight. There we go. 
Beautiful. Oh, we actually have some gunpowder kicking around in here too. I forgot about that stuff. <laughs> Sick. Nice little find. Okay, uh, bullet tips. Did I not make a bunch of them? Did we use them up or did I stick them somewhere? And uh, now I cannot find them. Oh, damn. Okay, uh, bullet tips are actually gonna be a problem here. Uh, do we have any on the way by chance? Uh, nope, we have a bunch of cement on the way though. What do we have in here? I think we can uh, whip some up real quick, even in these machines. Yeah, we can get some going in these machines here. Getting real low on lead, but that's actually okay uh, because, actually, why is it not coming up here? Can we not make the bullet tips? Oh, what do I not have on me? Oh, the tool and die set. We actually need a tool and die set in there to make it. So uh, let's just use this one for now. We'll interrupt the uh, the steel and uh, we'll get some bullet tips going here. Okay, I think I can make some steel in these basic ones. So, I mean, we may as well get these things doing something, right? Okay, crucibles. Do we have a couple crucibles kicking around? I do have some hardware here. Oh, wow. Uh, I thought I at least looted a couple crucibles. Did we not? Am I putting the, not putting them in the right spot? Oh, here we go. I put uh, two crucibles here in the uh, the misc uh, box. I don't know why I should have thrown that in hardware. That's uh, where they belong, but at least I found them. Here we go. And we'll get these two actually making steel because these things actually do not take up um, the heat map because obviously they, they don't have fuel. So that's kind of the change they made this time around. Okay, let's, uh, let's grab some iron here. We should have a ton of it. Oh, yeah, look at that. Uh, we'll just get like a stack of these going in each one. There we go, bunch of steels on the way, so that'll help upgrade our hard base here, which is really good. We got some steel in there, and uh, we've got a handful of bullet tips, which means we can at least get this thing started, uh, making some stuff here. And look at this, another advanced forge. You know what, we're just going to set this up here for now, uh, just because I, I could use them uh, to make our stuff here in a real big rush. Uh, so apparently you also get a free bellows too, every time you make one of these, which is, uh, which is really, really nice. Okay, let's grab some more uh, some more steel here. We should have, or some more steel. We should have a lot of iron. Uh, the place I'm building my uh, factory down below, it actually is a big, huge iron vein. So uh, that's kind of useful. Oh no! So the thing I realized is we only had two crucibles. So I can only make uh, steel in a uh, select amount of machines, uh, but we can make ourselves uh, crucibles here. What do we need to make those? Okay, maybe I shouldn't have canceled that. We need some forged iron mechanical. Okay, I'll get uh, a few of those going, I think. Oh no, we need to make them in our uh, metal workstation and we actually need this free uh, to make ourselves some ammo, so uh, cool. All right, well, there's a lot of sorting out I need to do here. As you can tell, there's a lot of food stuff, a lot of other stuff. Uh, I'm gonna keep my ammo here going at um, as fast as I can because we need as much as we can for Horde Night. Uh, we're going to head out here in the morning and um, and put up uh, some more of those SMGs. We have a whole bunch of them now. Uh, we don't have enough ammo to fill them all, but at least we'll get a few set up. We'll get one for the birds. That one's actually, I think, almost uh, geared up. Oh, before it's midnight, guys, totally forgot about this. We got to check the uh, the trader here for uh, some 9mm ammo. Oh, damn, he only has uh, the armor piercing. Did he not reset? Oh, maybe he didn't reset. Maybe that's what's going on. He does have an SMG auto turret on him, though. But I'm not going to take it. I only do business with real customers. So we have a whole bunch of food stuff we need to take a look at here. So I'm just grabbing up a whole a bunch of stuff. So... Uh, like, look at all this stuff I have. I can make a whole bunch of canned foods. We're actually getting real low on food. And uh, I've been kind of uh, slacking on getting that together. We just have these three steak and potato meals. So, yeah, I think we can do a little better than that. Okay, look at all this stuff that comes up here. So we can make vegetable stew. Um, I think that's actually a great source of food. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and make all of those that we can. There we go. We can make 12 of those. That's going to take six minutes in itself, but uh, 
that's a nice little stew and you may as well go ahead and uh, use up our canned goods here let's get those queued up like look at that seven cooked pasta how many uh soups do we have six uh we also have some cooked chilies we'll get those going i'd love to being able to actually like cook a whole bunch of stuff here at once oh no actually we, we're not going to use our uh, chili uh for just that let's go ahead and make some chili dogs those are decent we can make seven of those look at that queue look at that delicious delicious queue i love it okay we're gonna put a little bit more time on there and uh for our other options here we can finish off our chili uh we can do their chicken soup here and uh, I think that should actually hold us and we still have a whole bunch of food stuffs left. Uh, looks like we're lagging a little bit on uh, on the potatoes. Uh, so yeah, the other thing we can take a look at too is actually uh, turning wheat into flour and then um, into dough here. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at flour. Look at that, 97 and that's going to take 8 minutes and 40 seconds. But uh, we're making some progress on the food side. Usually I'm not really too big on the, the food stuff, but... Uh, we definitely got this one. So just taking a look here, we can make some pumpkin bread in the fire. I had uh, some cornmeal kicking around and uh, we can use some bottled water, damn it. Uh, this is what, what the working sink is actually going to be uh, very useful for because uh, going in uh, tending to that bottled water is uh, just such a pain in the butt. Holy crap, I can make 20 of these pumpkin bread. Oh, that is insane. Well, let's do it. There we go. Tons and tons of food. Uh, so while we're doing that, then, it's almost the end of day 69 here. Uh, too bad they didn't uh, coincide with episode 69. That would have been awesome. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at this stuff here. So we may as well get this here. We have uh, the plumbing. There we go. We can make the sink now. And now we can uh, make the oven. So let's go ahead and uh, look up the sink. We can have the working utility sink. We're definitely going to do this one. Uh, screw the granite sink. Uh, so we're going to need some forged iron, mechanical parts, and short iron pipe. Oh no, you actually have to make these now, apparently, in, uh, in the metal workstation. So, oh, we can't even, we can't even get those queued up right now because it's busy, uh, making some ammo for us. Uh, you know what? Metal workstation. I wonder if we can get a second one of these going. Here we go. Where do we even make those? Uh, I bet they're, they're made in the workbench, right? That would make sense. Uh, oh, no. You can actually make these by hand. How long does it take? Three minutes and 23 seconds? All right, guys. I'm sold. Just got to grab some electrical parts. Which I'm extremely low on. You know what? Let's go ahead and uh, visit Trader Joel here. What time is it? Oh, I don't even have my watch on because I don't have my gloves. Uh, may I see your inventory? Okay, so uh, let's look up electrical parts here. He doesn't have any electrical. And he doesn't have any parts here either. I think, actually, you know what? Just in case I'm doing something stupid here. Yeah, he just has mechanical parts. Damn it, no electrical. Uh, we can make some, but they're mighty expensive. Uh, we, they use uh, one... Uh, one duct tape per, so we can only make like 15 electrical parts, I think, here at the most. Oh, wait, didn't I have some going? Oh, no, I had one. I canceled it because I thought, that is a horrible idea. Uh, so let's look at parts here. Electrical parts. We had to make, we got a bunch of insulators going. We got a whole bunch of forged iron, but duct tape we really don't have much of. All right, well, let's get a few of those on the way here and take a look at my components and uh, see what we have for making um, duct tape. So we have a little bit of glue here. Uh, we can at least make some more duct tape for now. Let's go ahead and uh, craft some of that up. Uh, but we will have to get some more uh, uh, some more duct tape going. So damn, uh, I do believe that actually takes... Oh, okay. Oh, wait, wait, we have... Oh, no, we don't have any. Oh, we do! There we go. Takes murky water. There we are. That's what I'm looking for over here. So let's take a look at our um, uh, bench over here. It's still making gunpowder, but we're going to queue uh, the glue up uh, in front of it. There we go. Because uh, I think we definitely have enough gunpowder for now. We're still waiting on those freaking bullet tips. There we go. So I have enough to get my metal workstation going so I can get that uh, queued up in my own inventory. And it looks like all of our machines here are pretty much working on something. So that is optimal. And uh, the way I like to run things, look at that. Steel, steel, 
Uh, unfortunately, this one isn't making anything because we don't have the crucible or anything. So uh, that is unfortunate. And this thing, you know what? I can just lift it up, I think, and uh, destroy it. Yeah, we're not going to use it at this point. So I pulled a stupid here. I don't know what I was thinking. I was thinking the uh, trader reset like every oh, single day. Uh, but it says uh, trader reset every day. Now I think it actually his uh, selling actually resets every day. So we should uh, be able to sell some more stuff to him. Uh, why am I not wearing my pants? I need to put my pants on here, guys. Running around with no pants. Jeez, what am I doing here? Okay, so just to double check here. Uh, we're going to go electrical parts. Yeah, there's no electrical there either. Ah, there we go. So our second metal workstation here is going now. Eventually, like I said, uh, I'll move this all down to our factory here. And uh, we actually won't be spending too much time uh, at the actual trader hall anymore. So that should really help with um, not getting the trader, you know, all smashed up and killed and stuff. So uh, let's make sure we put it the right way this time so I don't get yelled at. Look, it is backwards this way. I can't uh, use this from this side. That's a little awkward. Uh, but look at this. I made it the right way this time, guys. I am so bad for putting it the wrong way. Uh, so we should have enough hardware for this thing for sure. There we go. Got our welding torch and our calipers up in there. Those seem to be uh, crazy, crazy common. Okay, and now we can finally, I think, uh, make our working sink. We'll make the uh, the granite sink. Oh, no, we're going to make the working utility sink here. And uh, we also should probably make a working wall oven. I think that would be a lot more efficient. So for that, we're going to need uh, 10 more electrical parts, cooking pot, and a, a damn grill. Oh, check this out, guys. So I took the forge and I destroyed it. Uh, but apparently, oh, here we go. Here's a recipe for the cooking pot. Um, it says anvil required. Do we not have one? We do not. Let's take a look at our hardware here. Oh yeah, look at that. We have three of them. We can go ahead and fill those up. But I'm going to get one of those going. Whoops. Okay, and in behind our sink here, we should have ourselves a uh, working oven. I accidentally put my iron away, didn't I? Ugh. Every single time I try to break in and be like, yeah, I got the stuff together. Uh, that happens to me. Here we go. Uh, I've been using the uh, the auxiliary buttons here a little more often. Uh, like if we go into here, if you guys haven't noticed these, we can move uh, items to fill up existing slots. And if you click it twice, it'll also create new stacks of items that are already in there. So it's uh, a useful thing, but sometimes I'm a little sloppy and end up putting away uh, stuff that I need, right? Which is uh, a big whoops. Oh, well, it is what it is. Okay, uh, let's make sure we got some more ammo going here. It's almost morning time. And uh, look at this, guys. We actually have ourselves uh, a decent amount of ammo. That's not a lot, but we have a decent amount going. Okay, so the other thing I think I should queue up to in this uh, workbench right here is a, uh, some more crucibles so we can fill up our machines here. So how many of these can I make? Three, four? Okay, we'll get four going in behind that. Nice. Two workstations here I think is going to be key. Okay, so the other thing we're going to need here is actually uh, some more ammo for Horde Knight. And who oh, damn. Uh, I'm actually kind of falling behind in that department here. We only have a few coil batteries kicking around. And what do I have here? Just ooh, under 1,200 coil rounds? Ouch, that's definitely not going to be enough for us here. So um, electrical parts, that's what we're, we're out of here. Oh, that's going to be rough, guys. Um, it's 4 a.m. I'm going to go. We're going to go and try to scrap down some, down some stuff here uh, real quick to get ourselves electrical parts. Okay, so I figured here a, uh, a store like a Shamway Foods would be um, a real easy way to get that done. So let's go ahead and uh, use up our 9mm, I guess. I mean, this weapon's good enough to uh, clear a place here, I think. Yeah, look at that. Definitely takes care of the zombies for me. Come on, boys. Party on. Holy, what the? Ah, oh, we're getting bombarded from outside. They must be coming in from the top again. I think that's what uh, that's what happened last time. Holy crap, look at them all spawning in over on the side there. What kind of crap is that? <laughs> Jeez. There we go. Jeez, stay down, bud. And we have a soldier guy over here. Holy crap. That is actually a lot of spawned in zombies. That is funny. <laughs> 
Okay. Wow, may as well grab all this loot here. Holy crap, did I just loot? I did. I looted the level 53 auger. That's actually way better than the current auger we have. Nice. Just coming over here to do this was worth it. Guys, we got an upgraded auger. <laughs> How about them apples? Okay, I'm going to go crazy here and start scrapping down anything that uh, might give us electrical parts. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Forgot about this room. My bad. May as well whip out this giant shotgun we got here. This coil shotgun. Uh, I never use this thing. Whoa, dude. Where did you come from? Holy crap, I have no shotgun uh, skills, guys. Um, that is why this thing actually isn't doing uh, much damage. But like I said, may as well use it up. Oh, that's a nice little, uh, that's a nice little punchy. There we go. Okay, well, that was uh, that was fun and unexpected. These lights here, guys, these lights are a great source of electric parts. There we go, six. Six electric parts just from that. Holy crap, look at the amount of uh, zombies kicking around in here. Oh, oh Jesus. That was actually pretty sick. I wasn't expecting it to happen like that. There we go. Okay, cleared out this room. Is there any, uh, there's a light up here. That'll give us something. I'm actually surprised. Oh, there is some lights up here. Can I reach them? Uh, no, but I bet if I uh, pulled up a couple spots here, I could. Okay, awesome. I'm gonna grab all of these then. Oh no, guys, look at this. I have uh, some afflictions here. Uh, we have a broken arm. We can take care of that when we go home. And uh, we have a mild infection. Damn it. It was, uh, I bet, from that one zombie that got in behind me here and I just uh, wasn't paying attention. And uh, it did quite a bit of damage to me there. I, I think I should have actually used like a, an axe or something on that. But whatever. There we go. So I think I harvested a uh, decent amount here. Let's take a look. Uh, 146 electrical parts. Yeah, not too bad. This place had a lot of lights in it, so uh, it worked all really well. And the cash registers too. So uh, nice little haul. So uh, a store, good, uh, good, good um, source of parts here. Actually, we have some uh, lights outside of here. I may as well grab these up, and then uh, we'll head home and uh, make up some more ammo here for Horde Night. We're in a real big rush now. Okay, there we go. So I think I got uh, the most I could from that uh, POI, and it looks like we upset some of the locals, too. Is this thing floating? Oh, holy crap, look at this. This thing is floating. Oh my god, guys, you want to have some fun? I bet... I bet if we take out one of these blocks, this whole thing will come down, because it's, it's just kind of floating on the ground. I don't know, though. It's, like, only floating, like... A little bit like not even a quarter of a block that's really weird I've never seen that before uh, but usually floating buildings will collapse uh, when you do a block update on it damn it so it must be actually supported but just barely above the ground that's really weird kind of disappointing too damn oh guys you know what you know what else as well I forgot uh, to go and repair our hard base here. I think we need uh, a major repair at it. We're going to have to double check. Uh, I just pretty much drove right by it. But I'm going to get these uh, afflictions dealt with here. And uh, drop off some of this stuff. Get some ammo going. And uh, we're going to quickly run over to the hard base and double check it over there. Okay, so we have our sink made here. What I think I'm going to do for now is just... Uh, uh, throw her down. Yeah, right here. We'll throw her down right in the corner and then we can put all of our glasses and stuff in there. Uh, so now we can easily fill up our water here. Let's grab that. Take a look over there. There we go. So we got 125, um, murky water. Did I just drink that? <laughs> Whoops. Oh boy. Okay, there we go. So we're going into Horde Night a little funny here. I'm not entirely sure, um, 
how uh, well equipped we are. So I'm gonna grab some of my building supplies. I'm gonna get some of this stuff uh, put away. Oh, that's right, I actually uh, took the queue off of this because we actually need to be uh, making some ammo here. Uh, shoot, bullet tips, we need some more bullet tips. Oh my God, I'm running around with my head chopped off right now. Oh, and steel casings, holy crap guys, we are in a hurting spot here. Um, I can, might have to make do with what we have here for Horde Night. All right, so we got all of our uh, stuff together here, kind of. Oh my god, I am so disorganized, guys. I should have actually, I think, taken an extra day cycle to get all of this done. I don't think I've ever felt this uh, underprepared for uh, for Horde Night before. Kind of running around like crazy, but we got this. Let's go check out our old Horde base over here. I do believe I left some stuff behind uh, to do the repairs, so we should be uh, A-OK. -okay. Um, I think there's just like some basic stuff to get done. Uh, let's go ahead. We cl we cleared out the zombies uh, a few days ago, so uh, we should be okay there. So let's take a look inside here and uh, see exactly. Oh yeah, like look at that. There's really there's really nothing to repair. So we did repair the horde base. Oh, that's good. I was uh, getting a little upset about that. Oh damn. Uh, so the only thing we're gonna have to do then is uh, put down some more of that barbed wire. And I do believe we actually have some of that above. And I also left behind a uh, whole crap load of uh, supplies here. It's on actually the, the third floor, which is now the open air roof. So we can get rid of some of those damn birds. Those birds are such a pain in the butt here on Horde Night. So um, I'm hoping this, this one turret I have up top will actually uh, do the job for me here. Okay, uh, let's take a look. We got engines, and we got ammo. We didn't leave actually any uh, anything behind here. Damn, I thought maybe, maybe just maybe we'd have some of the um, uh, the barbed wire, but we don't. That's okay though. Uh, let's head back, and I'll get some of that queued up. Before I do that though, I actually want to go up here because I know I'm gonna forget about this. I think this thing's actually on. It is barely using up any gasoline. And uh, let's get some ammo up in uh, this bad boy. This is the one I think that's going to use up the most ammo. Uh, so we have enough now for one, two, three, one, two, three, three more turrets here for Horde Knight. So we'll definitely put out uh, three more turrets and uh, uh, get them all loaded up. So let's go get some supplies and get this done. Oh, I'm looking in uh, my dump chest over here. Let's give this an organize. I have some bullet casings kicking around in here, and I have some uh, coil batteries. That is actually extremely uh, useful. Any bullet tips? Doesn't look like I have any uh, bullet tips going on. Uh, we do have some parts in there, too. Holy crap, I never even thought to, uh, to double check uh, the dump chest. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, like I said, I've never been uh, in this much of a hurry. Uh, what is this here? The armor pierced. Okay. Uh, we don't want the armor piercing coil rounds. Uh, we want the normal ones here. So uh, bullet tips. Yeah. Let's go grab some here. We should have. Oh, I switched this one out for casings because this one uh, had the crucible in it and uh, this other one didn't. There we go. Yeah, we're well on our way here. I think we'll actually do uh, pretty well for ammo here this Horde Night. Uh, I'm still going to be making some uh, 9 millimeter up in here. I'll just have to kind of uh, balance them out. Uh, but there we go. So we have uh, some concrete mix here. Uh, we have some more coil rounds on the way. Uh, those are going to be done in five minutes. So let's go ahead and run right back to that Horde base. So I think what I'll do here is actually just make a little platform on the outside. Let's go ahead and uh, uh, double up this one right here. Oh, look at that, the light right there. That'll actually give me uh, some parts. Ah, damn, is that steel too? I bet you that's like stainless steel or something up there. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, find out what this is made of. Oh, it's wood. Okay, cool. I'm going to get this all filled out down here. Okay, there we go. Now we have a nice, nice platform up here. So, the, oh, these are made of wood too? Perfect. I'm actually going to get uh, rid of these and then we can get all of our uh, stuff wired up up here. Uh, so, I think our best option is to actually hide the generators. Oh, on the third floor, it's so much uh, because the zombies are firing up at it. Uh, you know what? Maybe I'll do. I'll throw the generator just on the other side of these, uh, these bars here. Yeah, I'll just take out the bars and... Um, 
replace them with uh, with frames for now. The birds really don't bother with those too much, so not a big deal. So as it turns out here, I actually don't have um, that many generator banks. I think I only had like one or two. Uh, so what we're gonna do is uh, wire everything off one. I had some like seven electric wire relays kicking around here. Uh, so we'll get those used up. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and uh, get the first one down here. We're going to need to wire that up there and then to that thing so that we can go separately off of it, I think. There we are. Okay, and we'll get this uh, refueled up. Oh, holy crap, these things hold a lot of gas. I think that's actually on the mod. Uh, that makes it hold that much gas. I couldn't tell you though. Okay, so this thing is nice and uh, powered up. Let's go ahead and get our ammo in it. There we go. And uh, we. I think we need to unlock our ammo to get in. Why is it shooting? You must power this component to use the camera function. So yeah, okay, that's, that's right. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, interact with this and we'll actually do the uh, start time. Uh, 12 o'clock and the end time 12 o'clock. That should keep it running uh, all the time. It's a little bit of a pain in the butt, but it's less materials uh, we had to make. Okay, I lied. Uh, we're going to go from 11.30 to 12 o'clock. That should... Are we running now? Oh, damn it. Okay, maybe these uh, maybe these relays weren't the best idea. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to concur that these things weren't the best idea. I've never really messed with these things before because honestly... Um, I never really found a, a purpose for them, so yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and just get this one directly wired up here. You know what we can do? Uh, we can actually place, um, how many do we have to put down? Three? Damn it, I only have like the one generator. Okay, uh, let's take a look here. Yeah, they take electric parts. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna get fire back home, guys. And uh, get at least a few of these put together. Jeez, running back and forth today. I just just don't have my crap together at all. Oh, thank you, turret. And we come back to what appears to be... A, uh, a wandering horde. So let's just let that SMG here, um, or that turret, uh, help us out. There we go. We don't need to waste our time with uh, the small guys. Did he get him? <laughs> he got him. Oh, cool. Look at that. He has, uh, he has loot. Let's go grab that loot. We can't just leave that laying around. A couple things to sell the trader. We turn that into coin. And then into, uh, hopefully a laser bench at some point in time. Okay. Uh, so I do have the relays now, so we can actually, uh, get this wired up properly here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead, pick this thing, stupid thing up, and uh, we'll get this replaced, and then do another ledge on um, the west side, and then another ledge on the east. If they come from the south, <laughs> we really suck. Uh, they really don't come from there too often, though. You know, I think we might have enough to actually do uh, four turrets here. So I'm going to go ahead and get this one set up. Uh, i got to keep these in a, a pattern here. So let's get this one nice and filled. There we go. We can actually almost fill four. That's uh, that's pretty uh, damn slick. And then we can set the camera, go down a little bit. There we go, facing the, uh, the floor a little more. And we should be able to, I think, uh, come off this one here and then uh, go right to another... Um, uh, wire relay over here. So yeah, I'm gonna get the uh, the back wired up and we'll have all four sides uh, With some backup ammo here that should take a little bit of the pressure off us here too for Horde Knight now uh, The Horde Knight's previous uh, very easy to handle so this should uh, make things uh, a little easier And then if Horde Knight gets insane, this will actually end up making things a lot easier Okay, and the last one is set, so we're uh, looking pretty damn good here. These are actually my nerd poles when I was working on the uh, the third floor. So let's take a look at our power here to see how we're doing. Uh, it says 64 watts of power. We're doing 100, so we are set to go here for Horde Knight. So hopefully this doesn't get destroyed by uh, any uh, cop spit or anything, but hey, you never know. Horde Knights are uh, usually a, a crap show, so... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get a lot of this stuff put away. Um, I think I'm actually going to. This is really weird. I keep having this problem where I can't uh, 
pick up my frames if I jump on top of them. Only seems to be uh, happening this episode too. So I'm gonna get my inventory, everything organized here, guys, and put in my uh, four x four that I don't need. It is 1800, which means we're coming right up on Horde Night, guys. But I am completely out of time for today's episode, so I'm gonna have to uh, say goodbye to you guys here. And we will be back in the next one, of course, uh, for some Horde Night action. I'm looking forward to that. But as usual, guys, stay classy. Always back up them game saves, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, and have a good one. No matter what you people say, I'm gonna do my thing my way. No matter what you people do, I'm gonna do my thing much better than you. No matter what you say or do, oh boy, you're out of luck. It's gonna roll right off of me like water off the back of a duck. Good boy.